What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Got another movie reaction for you. And this is a big one. Oh, it's yeah. been a long time coming. It's been sitting at the top of our recommended list for a long time. Years. It absolutely destroyed the poll that it was in. Interstellar, here we come. If you didn't know, we do movie nights every single weekend over on this channel right here. We do live streams, <laughs> I was like, right? Don't go anywhere. Yeah, don't Just leave. Stay here. Stay here. We'll wait for those notifications when you see them pop up in the weekend. Come join us. Come hang out. Come say hello. We Laugh. love live streaming with the community. Get stupid with us. Yeah. It's an absolute blast. So yeah, we also post the full reactions over on the Patreon. If you're into the Patreon thing, there's links to all that stuff down below. But here we go. Long time coming. Very excited for this one. Interstellar. You ready? Yes. Let's go. Well, my dad was a farmer, um, like everybody else back then. Oh God, a field of corn, terrifying. Computer says you're too tight. Uh, I got this. Shutting it down, Cooper. Oh, I need to power up! Oh God. Dad? Oh. Jesus. Sorry, Barb. Go back to bed, man. I thought you were the ghost. Uh, no such thing as ghosts, babe. Oh, is that Matthew McConaughey? Nice. All right, all right, all right. We had acres of corn, but uh, mostly we had dust. Oh. Steady blow of dirt. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Glasses or cups, whatever it was, upside down. That is brutal. What the heck did you do to my lander? It wasn't me. Let me guess, it was your ghost? It knocked it off my shelf. It keeps on knocking the books off. It's not very scientific, Murph. You said science is about admitting what we don't know. She's got you there. Tuh. You gotta record the facts, analyze, get to the how and the why, then present your conclusions. Deal. Alright. When did this come out? I think like 2014 or something. What's going on, Murph? Why did you and Mom name me after something that's bad? Oh, honey. Well, Murphy's law doesn't mean that something bad will happen. What it means is that whatever can happen will happen, and that sounded just fine with us. Whoa! Oh, Jesus. What the hell? Whoa! Oh. Don't stop. Don't stop. Oh, Dad. Oh. Oh. oh, shit. Wow. Is he controlling it now? I want to get to work. Wow. He's got some tech, it's, huh? Yeah. He just basically now is this stolen? He just stole it? He has it? hijacked the drone. Can't we just let it go? It wasn't hurting anybody. This thing needs to learn how to adapt, Murph, like the rest of us. We got Tom Scores back. He's gonna make an excellent farmer. What about college? University only takes a handful. They don't really have the resources. I to... still pay my taxes. Now, where, where's that money going? There's no more armies. No, it doesn't go to the university. Tom's score simply isn't high enough. What's your waistline? I'm about 33, NC. I'm not sure I see what you're getting at. Are you telling me it takes two numbers to measure your own ass, but only <laughs> one to measure my son's future? Oh, shit. Dang. <laughs> okay. You're a well-educated man, Coop. And a trained pilot. And an engineer. And a hacker, apparently. Mm -hmm. We don't need more engineers. We didn't run out of television screens and planes. We ran out of food. The world needs farmers. Ms. Hanley's here to talk about Murph. She brought this in to show the other students the section on the lunar landings. It's an old federal textbook. We've replaced them with the corrected versions. Corrected? Exactly. Explaining how the Apollo missions were fake to bankrupt the Soviet Union. Oh? You don't believe we went to the moon? I believe it was a brilliant piece of propaganda. God. We need to teach our kids about this planet, not tales of leaving it. And one of those useless machines they used to make was called an MRI. And if we had any of those left, the doctors would have been able to find the cyst in my wife's brain. And then she'd have been the one sitting there listening to this instead of me, which had been a good thing because she was always the, the calmer one. Oh my God. <laughs> Murph got into a fist fight with several of her classmates over this. Good for her. Good job, Murph. Stand up for what you think. 
There's a game tomorrow night. She's going through a bit of a baseball phase. Her favorite team's playing. There's gonna be candy and soda. I think I'll take her to that. I like him. I mean, he stands up for his I kids, which is good. I got you suspended. <laughs> Something's interfering with the compass. Magnetism. Some such. Interesting. Is it something with the drone that he brought down? Is this the movie Signs? <laughs> <laughs> Very specific books getting knocked off the shelf. I count the spaces. What? In case the ghost is trying to communicate. I'm trying Morse. Morse. Dots and dashes used to... I know what Morse code is, but if I just don't think your bookshelf's trying to talk to you. Interesting. I had to reset every compass clock and GPS to offset for the anomaly. I mean, if the house was built on magnetic ore, we'd have seen this the first time we switched on the tractor. I hear your meeting at the school didn't go so well. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we've forgotten who we are, do no? Explorers, pioneers, not caretakers. When I was a kid, it felt like they made something new every day. Like every day was Christmas. Interesting. This world isn't so bad. And Tom will do just fine. You're the one who doesn't belong. Born 40 years too late or 40 years too early. <laughs> well, we used to look up in the sky and wonder at our place in the stars. I love his accent. Now we just look down and worry about our place in the dirt. True. You didn't expect this jerk that was giving you this food. I love the documentary to style. Yeah, I was that just about to say you. That. This could just happened about 1.30 when that thing came off the top of the canyon. I like what you do. I like our farm. I'd be great at it. Uh... God. Is that a dust storm? Dude, that is wild. I mean, not the real Yankees. Oh, okay. Dude, this is... This feels like um, a quiet place. Oh, my God. Oh, this is awful. How do you even know where the hell you're going? I mean, you should... Like, you're not going to run into anything. This is awful. It feels like the end of the world. <laughs> oh no. <gasps> oh, oh honey. Shit. Damn. Dude, the way it's like falling. Grab your pillow. I don't want to sleep on that. I don't sleep on that pillow now. It's almost, best. it's almost like it's, it's, like, it's falling like snow. Yeah. Look at the way the light is. That's incredible looking. It is. Is that a hand? It's not Morse, Murph. It's binary. Thick is one, thin is zero. Coordinates. Oh, oh. what? I love this. I can't miss this. Come Grandpa, on. I'll be back in a couple hours, Murph. Oh, you're not even gonna take her with you? Did she sneak into the car? I woulda. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Ah, there she is. She's like, you ain't doing this without me. You wouldn't be here if it wasn't for me. Make yourself useful. But he's, I love him as a dad. Doesn't get mad, takes a lot. The music's really interesting so far. Yeah, it's like pumping up the heart rate yeah. a little bit. Step away oh, no, no, from no, no, the no, no, fence. No, no, no. Don't shoot, don't shoot. I'm not armed. My daughter's in the car. What the f Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of what exactly? Why'd it sound like a friggin' Robocop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, did Iron Man just apprehend them? What what the hell was that? You had the coordinates for this facility marked on your map. Where did you get those coordinates? Where's my daughter? Don't make me take you down again. Sit down. What the hell? Tars, back down, please. The hell? Your daughter is fine. Break it. 
Must have a very smart mother. <laughs> Dad! Hello, Cooper. Professor Brian. Oh. This is a hell of a cast. Honestly. We learned these coordinates from an anomaly. What sort of anomaly? Oh, the hell? Uh, I hesitate Hunger to it supernatural, but it definitely wasn't scientific. <laughs> You're mission. gonna have to be specific, Mr. Cooper. It was gravity. Well, what sort of gravitational anomaly? Yeah, Where uh, was this? Hey, no, I'm real happy that you're excited about gravity, bud, but you're not getting any answers from us. Don't brother. you know who we are? No, Professor, I don't. We're NASA. The same NASA you flew for. Oh. What the hell? Honestly. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, shut you down, sir. This is wild. Honestly. <laughs> Earth's atmosphere is 80% nitrogen. We don't even breathe nitrogen. Blight does, and as it thrives, our air gets less and less oxygen. The last people to starve will be the first to suffocate. God. The Endurance, our final expedition. You sent people out there looking for a new home? The Lazarus missions. Well, that sounds cheerful. <laughs> I can't tell you any more unless you agree to pilot this craft. So he stumbles upon this bitch, and now they want him to fly this bitch. This is the mission that you were trained for. Oh, without even knowing it? How? So, how? Wow, he, what a coincidence! Even he was like, wait, what? <laughs> Something sent you here. They chose you. Well, who's they? Isn't that the million dollar question? Who is they? Mm. How long? Who are they? Are they gone? Hard to know. Years? I've got kids, Professor. Get out there and save them. Who's they? Out near Saturn, a disturbance of space-time. Hit a wormhole? It appeared 48 years ago. And it leads where? Another galaxy. Whoa! Someone placed it there. They? Whoever they are, they appear to be looking out for us. That wormhole. Let's us travel to other stars. Came along right as we needed it. They've put potentially habitable worlds right within our reach. What? Twelve possible worlds, twelve ranger launches. And one system shows promise. And one, that's a bit of a long shot, isn't it? This is wild. I love this. Then what? That's the long shot. Did you notice anything strange about the launch chamber? No, but I'm sure you're going to let me know. Honestly, I hope so. We started building this station. But you haven't solved it yet. That's why there's Plan B. How to get a viable amount of human life off the planet. Plan B. Population bomb. Over 5,000 fertilized eggs. We incubate the first 10. After that, with surrogacy, the growth becomes exponential. 30 years, we could have a colony of hundreds. What? What about the people here? You just, you give up on them? My kids. That's why plan A is a lot more fun. Holy uh, shit. Find us a new home. And by the time you return, I will have solved the problem of gravity. If you don't die first, shit. You're old. <laughs> this is one of those movies where you think you're watching something up to a point and then things hit like a left turn you're like wait what <laughs> like the fact that he stumbled upon nasa <laughs> yeah and that they want him to fly for them yeah now? he's their pilot Again? for this mission to go find a sustainable planet for life wow if you're leaving just go oh honey this world was never enough for you was it coop mankind was born on earth it was never meant to die here interesting yeah Tom will be all right, but you got to make things right with Murph. Without making promises, you don't know you can keep. Does he have to travel alone, or is he going to have a squad he with him? To talk to me, Murph. I need to fix this before I go. I'll keep it broken so you have to stay. Oh, honey. We're just here to be memories for our kids. That one hit it. But you're a parent. 
You're the ghost of your children's future. Oh, shit. He's hitting it hard today. Oh, shit. I never thought about my mortality until I became a parent. I figured out the message. One word. You know what it is? Stay. It says, stay, Dad. Why? You're not listening. It says stay. Coming back. When? Couldn't imagine. One for you. One for me. Time's gonna change for me. And there's gonna run more slowly. I mean, by the time I get back, we, we might even be the same age. <laughs> that would be wild. You have no idea when you're coming back. No idea. Oh! I don't, don't mind. Don't make me leave like this. Come on, Murph. Don't make me leave like this, Murph. You can't force her to be okay with it. You're just not, it's not gonna happen for you. I love you forever, and I'm coming back. Does that mean he's not coming back? If he says, oh shit. If he says, I got this, then I'm out. This happened so quickly. It was all meant to be. Dude, that's so insane. It's like a super secret NASA mission. Just travel into a wormhole to find new worlds. <laughs> Everybody good? Plenty of slaves for my robot colony? Oh, he's got jokes. Give him a humor setting so he'd fit in better with his unit. <laughs> Sarcastic robot. What a great idea. <laughs> All feeds going manual. The silence. The... Oh, I love it. You know what we need? Amos. That's who we need. Lock? Target locked. Easy peasy. This is wild. Anybody else sick? <laughs> oh my God. That would definitely make me want to throw up. I would puke. <laughs> it looks good for your trajectory. We've calculated two years to Saturn. Two years? It's two years just to get to Saturn. That's where the wormhole is, right? Yeah. Rage. Rage against the dying of the light. Okay, Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> the... <laughs> the organ that is being played. Hello, Murph. Why are you in my dad's truck? He wanted me to bring it for your brother. He sent you a message. Oh, honey. If you record any messages, I can get them transmitted to Cooper. Murph is a bright spark. Maybe I should fan the flame. She's already making fools of her teachers. <laughs> so maybe she should come and make a fool out of you. So where are they? Heading for Mars. The next time you hear from Cooper, they'll be coming up on Saturn. Wow. Oh, God, can you imagine seeing it? <laughs> like, right there. I don't want to. But could you imagine? No, I couldn't imagine. It's <clears throat> absolutely incredible. All of that stuff is incredible. It literally scares me to death. The thought of space, absolutely terrifying. That there is no oxygen <laughs> and there is no gravitational pull. If you are out there, you are dead. Bye bye. You, there, you will just be. The sound, gone. like the lack of sound, is what trips me out about this kind of stuff. It's deafening. Yeah. I'm sorry, Coop. I asked Murph to say hi, but she's as stubborn as her old man. <sighs> oh, that would be heartbreaking. One of my big questions about anything space related, whether we're watching The Expanse or whatever, I always wonder how scientifically accurate the science is. Mm -hmm about these type of movies. That always interests me. 
We got a pretty good idea what we're gonna find on the other side, huh? Navigationally. Guys, looks like we'll be approaching the wormhole in about three hours. Oh, fuck. So it's already been two years. So they say you wanna go from here to there. But it's too far, right? Wormhole bends space like this, so you can take a shortcut through a higher dimension. Oh, I love that. What's a circle in three dimensions? Sphere. Exactly. Interesting. But who put it there? Who do we have to thank? They. It's they. Yeah. They did it. Oh, this looks like a bubble. That just a looks A droplet horrif of water. It looks horrifying. It does. I. You <laughs> wouldn't catch me! Uh-uh, bitch! It's like, what if the wormhole was put there as, like, a trap? Well, that's what I get the impression of a little bit when Murph is saying, like, see, it says stay. Oh, this is so weird. Oh. Oh, that I don't like that, that at all. That shot is wild. It's like a fisheye. Here we go. Dead. <laughs> Movie over. Holy shit. Ludicrous speed. We've gone plaid, you stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, dude. What is that? Oh, hell on earth, no. No, no, no. Hell in space, no. Fuck no. What? No. Dude. How do I get my hand out of that now? What was that? First handshake. We're here. Wow. That was very well done visually. That was really cool. I, I would like to go watch this in the theater. Yeah, on the big screen, I bet this yeah, looks yeah. and sounds absolutely that looks like insane. That like the planet is much closer to Gargantua than we thought. And gravity on that planet will slow our clock compared to Earth's. Every hour we spend on that planet will be seven years back on Earth. Oh! What? Well, that's relativity, folks. It's like the quantum realm. How far off of Miller's planet do we have to be to, to stay out of the time shift? Or just back from the cusp. Just outside of Miller's planet. Right. Here's Gargantua, here's Miller's planet. Instead of taking the endurance into orbit around Miller's planet, which would conserve fuel, but we would lose a lot of time, we take a wider orbit around Gargantua, parallel with Miller's planet, outside of this time shift to here. There's not gonna be time for monkey business or chit chat down there. So Tars, you should definitely stay here. <laughs> We're talking about a couple of years. I could use the time to research gravity. Observations from the wormhole, that's gold to Professor Brown. Tars factor in orbit of Gargantua. Conserve fuel and make sure we stay in range of Miller's planet. I wouldn't leave you behind. Jokes. Brand, Doyle, get ready. Does everybody fucking die? Movie over. Boom. <laughs> Everybody, hold on to your butts. Shoot that fast. I got this. Fucking don't ever say I got this. I need to feel the air. Here we go. Whoa. To think that this is like a planet in another galaxy completely through a wormhole. It looks just like our ocean. We land on water. Wow. That's amazing. Everybody's throwing up. Seven years per hour here. Let's make it count. That is like unimaginable to even think. What kind of friggin' water monsters do they have? That's all I could think of. Um. Oh God. Where's the mountains? Those aren't mountains. They're waves. Oh, what? 
Oh, hell no. Holy sh what? Nope. Oh my god. Oh, what? Oh, holy this shit. This is nuts. Oh! Get your fucking ass in, dude! Get in! You motherfucker, you better get your ass in that fucking thing! Oh no! Oh! Oh my god, he's dead. He's so dead. That's like the biggest wave in the history of waves. North Sea TikTok! This is what I'm saying! Whoa. Uh-uh. I went off this ride. I don't like it. I don't like any of it. God damn it! I told you to leave me. And I told you! To Why get did your you ass leave back me? here! Hey, how much time? 45 to an hour. Yeah. What's this gonna cost us, Brand? Decades. That is unimaginable. I can't even, like, wrap my head around it. We could maybe, I don't know, jump in a, in a black hole. Came back to years. The only thing that can move across dimensions like time is gravity. Could they be talking to us from the future? Maybe. If they can. They are beings of five dimensions. I can't even wrap my head around this. When you become a parent, one thing comes really clear. And that's that you want to make sure your children feel safe. And it rolls out down a ten-year-old. The world's ended. How long for the engine's case? A minute or two. Well, we don't have it. Come us on! Oh, shit. This planet sucks. <laughs> oh, hell on Earth. Oh, or not on Earth. Shit. Am I wrong? I've waited years. By now it must be. It's 23 years, four months, eight days. Oh! No. I stopped believing you were coming back. Something seemed wrong about dreaming my life for. <sighs> We've got years of messages stored. Messages span 23 years. Uh, my brain, I can't. Hey, Dad. I finished second in school. I met another girl, Dad. I really think this is the one. Jesse. Oh my God. Oh, say bye bye, Grandpa. Bye bye, Grandpa. Okay. Sorry, it's been a while. Oh, with Jesse and all. What happened with the. Oh. The baby's okay. Oh, Grandpa died last week. Oh, shit. Orph was there at the funeral, and we well, don't see her that much, but she came for that. You aren't listening to this. I know that all these messages are just drifting out there in the darkness. I have to uh, let you go. I guess let you go wherever you are, Dad. Holy shit, dude. <sighs> oh, I didn't know she was in this. Hey, Dad, you son of a bitch. I never made one of these, and you were still responding because I was so mad at you for leaving. And then when you went quiet, it seemed like I should live with that decision, and I have. 
Today's my birthday. You once told me that when you came back, we might be the same age. Oh, shit. And today I'm the age you were when you left. Oh, my God. <laughs> this might be a real good time for you to come back. Wow, dude. Couldn't imagine the idea of watching the people you love back home age and get older while you... I've only been gone for a couple of years. If you're wrong, you have a very personal decision to make. Your fuel calculations are based on a return journey. Strike out on man's planet and we'll have to decide whether to return home or push on to Edmonds with plan B. Starting a colony could save us from extinction. You might have to decide between seeing your children again and the future of the human race. It has to be a subjective then. Jeez. Again. Again. I, I just think it's, it's like all the time up there is just. Oh, hey, look, Spider-Man. trying to reach you. It's not Spider-Man. I know it's not Spider-Man. It's Venom. <laughs> I know. No, you got it so far. Now I'll finish what you started. I wanted you to believe that your father would come back. Forgive me, but. There's nothing to forgive. I lied, Murph. What? I lied to you. There, there was no need for him to come back. No way to help us. Did my father know? Did he leave me? To not go. Oh my god. No! You can't leave. Dr. Brand, I'm sorry to tell you that your father died today. Oh my god. This was all a sham. The star? Oh my god. What the hell? Whoa, look at that place. Oh my God. I mean, I guess it's better than giant tsunamis. Yeah, I don't know. Whoa. I'm just thinking back to the old lady they had at the beginning of the movie being Murph. Oh. Because my father, and then they went into the story. So does he never, he never comes back. It doesn't feel like that's where this is going. That is so wild. Oh, hey. What? The fuck? How many uh, space movies has he been in? Has he been in? Oh my God, I cannot talk today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Fucking Matt Damon, dude. Pray you never learn just how good it can be to see another face. Tell us about your world. Our world uh, is cold. But undeniably beautiful. This is... The days are 67 hours long. Oh, Whoa! Shit. You get a ton done in a day. Dr. Brand, I'm sorry to tell you that your father died today. He told you, right? This was all a sham. He left us here. Did my father know too? Dad? I just want to know if you left me here to die. My father dedicated his whole life to plan A. I have no idea what she's talking about. I do. Why, well, he never even hoped to get people off the earth. No. Oh my God. Amelia, your father solved his equation before I even left. The equation couldn't reconcile relativity with quantum mechanics. You need more, more. More what? More data. You need to see into a black hole. The laws of nature prohibit a naked singularity. Probably is that true. If a black hole is an oyster, then the singularity is the pearl inside. The gravity is so strong, it's always hidden in darkness. That's why we call it a black hole. 
are some things that aren't meant to be known. Why well, keep building those stations? Because he, he knew how hard it would be to get people to work together to save the species instead of themselves. Oh my God. You never would have come here unless you believed you were gonna save them. Monsters lie. Dude. We are the future. That is so insane. Building that whole lie just to get these folks on this mission when plan B was always the, oh, shit. I told you about my ghost. My dad thought I called it a ghost because I was scared of it. But I was never scared of it. I called it a ghost because it felt. By the way, isn't this the same girl that played Renesmee yeah, in the Twilight? Yeah, person. Yeah. The young girl. I was know. trying to tell me something. If there's an answer here on earth, it's back there, somehow in that room. She's gonna find an answer, isn't she? I hope so. Dude, the twists and the turns of this movie have been just wild. Dr. Man, we need to find three secure sites. One for Brand's lab, two for habitat. And once those modules have landed, you don't want to move them. I'd really like to secure those sites by nightfall. These squalls do usually blow over. This feels sketchy. 72 hours, yeah? Roger that, Cooper. I feel like they're having to lie to the doctor to do things. That yearning to be with other people, that emotion is at the foundation of what makes us human. Does she have a black hole in her room? I mean, that was really interesting when he like threw the coin and it hit like the magnetic field or whatever. What does research tell us is the last thing you're gonna see before you die? Your children, their faces. At the moment of death, your mind's gonna push a little bit harder to survive for them. Thanks, I don't wanna... When I left Earth, I thought I was prepared to die. I never really considered the possibility that my planet wasn't the one. That's Nothing worked out the way it was supposed to. Visually incredible. <gasps> the fuck? <gasps> Whoa. Yeah, I knew fucking shit was sketchy. What the hell? I can't let you leave with that shit. We're gonna need it to complete the mission. We cannot survive here. Oh, fucker. What the hell? He faked all the data. Yes, I knew that if I just pressed that button then somebody would come and save me. Holy shit. So much lies and deception going on. Friggin' insane. Listen, if you're not gonna go, let your family go. Just let, save your family. Pray that daddy comes to save us. Dad's not coming back. You're gonna save everybody. Dad didn't even try! Dad just abandoned us! Nobody's going with you. You're gonna wait for your next kid to die? Yeah, okay. This is so intense. The music is, the music throughout this movie has been phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Stop it! No. Oh, bitch. Oh my God. What the fuck? I'm sorry, I can't. I can't watch you go through this. I'm sorry. I thought I could. The fuck? Do you see your children? The fuck? It's okay. They're right there with you. He, he see the... Peace is right there. Whoa, dude, this movie is a lot. Mm -hmm. And she's making sure that they fucking leave that farm. She's just lit that shit on fire. This is so much. This is so much. So he disabled that device. The data makes no sense. Thank you. He disabled that device 
to give them false so that they could then move on. Oh my God, to plan B. Oh. What? Oh my God, dude. Okay, so he lied so that basically he could get out of there? Yeah. Get in the back seat. Get in the back seat now. Oh God. I guess my question is like, did man even care about the plan? Or was he just doing it selfishly for himself to just get the fuck out of there? I don't know. I think that's where my head's at right now. Do not attempt docking, I repeat. Do not attempt docking. He's not listening to you, man. This is... What the hell's gonna happen? I don't know. Basically, if they don't... If he docks, he's fucking out of there. I think. And then if they don't get there, they're stranded, they're stuck. They can't move forward. Marooned, like he just said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, every scene I feel like has the perfect music. The way it's building, the way it like just sets up the tone and the feel. I know it's very complicated in terms of certain elements of the story. I hope we're grasping what's going on. Do not open the hatch. If you open the hatch, the airlock will depressurize. There is a moment. Oh, what the? F the silence. I... It's not possible, it's necessary. Dude, some of the dialogue in this movie is just incredible. Dude, this soundtrack makes me want to go work out. Right? <laughs> I'm Shit, gonna go. I'm going to fucking run in like eight miles right now. Oh my God. Holy shit. That was fucking powerful. That scene was powerful. The navigational hub has been completely destroyed. We don't have enough life support to make it back to Earth, but I think we can scratch our way to Edmund's planet. Gargantua, pull us down close to the horizon. Then a powered slingshot around, launching us towards Edmund's planet. What about the time slippage? Oh, neither one of us have time to worry about relativity right now, Dr. Brand. I'm sorry, Cooper. Wow. This is gorgeous. In like the scariest way possible. Holy shit. I'm speechless. This is wild. The visuals are awesome. Like it really feels like they're this tiny doing ass something. little yeah just speck flying around in this incredible galaxy. Like how thrashed are their bodies gonna be after this? Like they're not going back home, so. <laughs> Prepare to detect. What? No! No! Cooper! Three. Cooper, what are you doing? Boom, third law. You gotta leave something behind. Dude, you told me we had enough resources for both of us. I just got chills. Okay. I'm nosing down. Approaching the event horizon. Holy shit. That would be horrifying. Oh, what? Flashes of light and blackness. Gravitational pull, I'm losing control. Stick. Oh, God. Holy shit. Oh, my God.
Eject? Eject what? Where? To what? Ho! Oh my god. How do you not have a just a fucking heart attack? What the fuck? Are those books? Is he Is he in her room right now? Was it him? The Oh my god. <sighs> Is he the ghost? Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Burp, burp, burp. Are you fucking kidding me? He was telling himself to stay. Is this what death is like? That feels like torture though, to be in that space. Right. death. Hell. Now don't go, don't go you idiot. Don't go! Death. Death. Tell him to make you a stay. Make him stay, Merv. Oh my god. No, don't let me leave, Merv! This is We survived. Somewhere in their fifth dimension, they saved us. What the hell is they? Is this why they want to help us, huh? I don't know, but they constructed this three-dimensional space inside their five-dimensional reality to allow you to understand it. Holy shit. Gravity can cross the dimensions, including time. Apparently. Do you have the quantum data? Roger, I have it. I am transmitting and on all wavelengths, but nothing is getting out, Cooper. To such complicated data to a child. Not just any child. What else? Oh, come on, Dad. She's gonna figure this shit out. And it's gonna be awesome. It's gotta be, right? She won't understand its significance for years. Hey, I get that, Tars. They didn't bring us here to change the past. Say that again. They didn't bring us here to change the past. Well, they didn't bring us here at all. We brought ourselves. Could be the coordinates for NASA. Can he somehow find a way to get to like the present time? That's I'm like and communicate. I, I am tripping right now. Like I can't. I brought myself here. We're here to communicate. Oh my god. This shit is so good. They didn't choose me, they chose her. For what, Cooper? To save the world. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is fantastic. Uh the one little girl's bedroom. Every moment. It's infinitely complex. They have access, just like I found this moment. How, Cooper? The love, Tars, love. Shit! Bran was right. Translate the data into Morse and feed it to me. <laughs> okay, I'm coming down. Come on, Murph! Aw, oh, shit.
Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God! I fucking love this. The bulk beams are closing the Tesseract. That's right. They're not beings. They're us. What I've been doing for Murph, they're doing for me. Cooper people couldn't build this. No. No, not yet. No. Oh my god, is he gonna be Is he gonna be sucked in into something? Oh my god. Oh, was that him? <gasps> the first handshake. Oh, what? Wow. <sighs> what? Mr. Cooper. Actually, you are 124 years old. Oh, what? If you build it, whoa! It will come. Oh my god. Oh shit. Damn kids. What the? Cooper Station, currently orbiting Saturn. <laughs> what? Cooper Station. What a nice you to name it after me. Well, the station isn't named after you, sir. It's yeah. uh, it's named after your daughter. She's still alive. She'll be here in a couple weeks. She is far too old to be transferring from another station, but when she heard that you'd been found, this is Murphy Cooper we're talking about. Yeah, it is. Holy shit. How? I didn't speak to her personally. Well, my dad was a farmer. I'm like everybody else back then. She would sometimes over our nose. Is this a museum? They've turned a replica of this home into a museum. Honesty, new setting. 95%. <laughs> <laughs> Humor, 75%. Aw, Tars. Auto self-destruct, T minus 10, 9. Let's make that 60%. <laughs> knock, knock. You want 55? Uh. <laughs> the family's all in there. Family? Yeah, they all came out to see her. doing it all myself. I knew who it was. Nobody believed me, but I knew you'd come back. How? Because my dad promised me.
You all right? Should we have had more kids so that we could have more grandkids so that we could just have more? Like that kind of stuff makes me wish we didn't stop at two kids. Alone in a strange galaxy. <laughs> Maybe right now she's settling in for the long nap. New sun in our new home. Wow. That was really good. I don't use this word very often when talking about the stuff that we watch, but that was a masterpiece. That was so good. I don't. It's hard to fully grasp exactly the how it all happened. Right. But the way it happened and the story that they told and the way it all just played out was absolutely incredible. I'm kind of shocked that that's where your brain went, having more children. It was important. Like, <laughs> it was important to... to Instead of just a plan B where they just like population bomb what they called it. Yeah. Like the whole thing was like they needed to keep like they were she was gonna be the last generation on earth. They were gonna be the last people. Like that's it. Yeah. The last ones to survive. And so like she had kids who had kids who had kids. <laughs> and it's like you it makes me think about like when I'm old. What am I going to have around me? Bunch of grandkids. I hope so. I mean... I don't care if they're biological, just kids. Yeah. And they're kids. And what it's like to be a parent. What if they don't want to be a parent? I can't force my children to want to have children. I'm just blown away that that's where your brain went. Well, she was surrounded by, like, I thought she was going to be alone. She was old. But, like, I thought she was going to be alone. Like, this whole th this whole time, I thought she was alone. Definitely but not she alone. she wasn't alone. Yeah. That family grew. I mean, I, I don't even have a lot of words to express what I felt watching that movie. Because... Did you get sweaty? I mean, there were moments for sure. <laughs> it's very, it was very emotional. And the music, I think the music oh God, was the most the powerful music. part of the movie. Yes. Just because every moment, every scene of importance, I felt like had its own powerful score. And it was like triumphant music and very dramatic music. And just everything about that drove the, the scenes, I felt like. And then when there was no sound at all, when you were out in the middle of space, just, I mean, the lack of sound was deafening as oh, well. Oh, it was that, like, those were some, like, really powerful parts. Yeah, it was just the, the story that they told, and when it hit that, like, third dimension of the fifth dimension, and he was behind the bookshelf, that was just one of those, like, mind-blowing moments, like, holy shit. He was there communicating with the his... The whole time. Yeah. And just, again, the how, I don't... I mean, I don't think my brain is big enough to compute the how of that science because it's incredible in the but way it was done. Even, like, when he's like, stay, 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 he can't stay. Right. Otherwise, there would be nowhere... Like, he wouldn't be there... Exactly. ...telling him to stay. Yeah. The amount of twists and turns... In this story, even from like the 20 minute mark yeah. where you're on earth, you're in this field, you've got this farmer and his family and things are dying because of these sandstorms. And then it's like they were able to come up with these coordinates off of the sand on the floor and then they friggin stumble upon NASA like that curveball that they threw there was just like what? Like, holy shit. Well, and then come to find out he sent himself there. Right. 
Like, this was all just us. Uh-huh. And the first handshake. They, is, they was him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love it. Just, I love this. And, like, their, them being apprehended when he went to go cut the gate was the robot, which, incredible. Yeah. Just the way... I thought it didn't make sense. I was like, this this is kind of dumb. The robot's kind of dumb. No, yeah. the robot is perfect. Yeah. I wouldn't it have worked. had it any other way. It, it fits so perfectly within the story and the flow of, like, the dialogue. And the dialogue, amazing. There were just so many moments where words that were spoken in this movie were so strong. And it's just the twists and turns from moment to moment. And then realizing that like plan A was never really an option. Yeah. And that plan B was always the plan. And they lied and they manipulated because there's no way we were going to get these people on this trip to do this mission if they thought everyone on Earth was going to die. And it's like that deception and lying. Holy shit. And, I mean, meeting Dr. Man, the reveal of friggin' Matt Damon. Honestly, that was just wild. Just so insane. Just his whole mentality and everything that he tried to do, the way he was lying and manipulating, and just gotta do whatever it takes to accomplish plan B. You gotta get it done. And just the way, there were so many, and again, part of the reason why we love going into these movies blind and not having any knowledge or expectations for anything is because this shit blows you away. This movie blew me away. Same. I had like, obviously the title of the movie tells you there's some kind of space travel involved, interstellar. Like you, you understand that going into it, but the level of no what, idea. the level of what they presented to us and the level of just story and exploration and just the different dimensions and the time just the idea that they were in that one location and like what one hour was seven years. Yes. Like holy shit. Or the, the twenty three years. Yeah. It ended up being twenty. She got the math wrong and it was twenty three years. Just the idea of even. And obviously, then, we've had that in other pieces of content like the quantum realm and shit. But seeing it play out in this movie made it feel so much more real. Yes. And the impact was so much bigger. Yes, and I definitely felt more of the impact of it. Just well, even when she was like, you said when you laughed, like, hey, we might be the same age when I get back. Yeah. And how wild is it that her first communication sent was her birthday at the age yes. that he was when he left? Yep. And then when he actually got back and they were able to actually meet again, she was so much, I mean, he was older, but visibly she was way older than him. Oh, and on and, her deathbed. Yeah. And she was dying. And I mean, he was what, 124 years old? Mm -hmm. But, like, still looking good. And, I mean, I just... The stuff that happened in this in this story is just so unimaginable. And, I mean, even going back to the beginning where his daughter is just screaming for him not to go. Like, mm -hmm. don't leave. And, yeah. I mean, I understand now why so many people have been telling us to watch this movie. It I makes it. sense. Yeah. Totally clicks. It's one of those just... It's one of those... Train to Busan moments? I mean, it's one of those experiences <laughs> that I don't feel like you could get in another piece of cinema. Right. Like, the way this movie was directed and produced and written... The visuals, just, my God. The visuals were incredible. Oh, my God. Just every different location that we were in, whether we were flying, going through the friggin' wormhole, like, whatever it was, it all looked freaking spectacular. And it's holding up well. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it was 2014, so it's 10 years old, which I that's mean, wild. that's amazing. That's wild. And it's just one of those things where it's obviously not the most unique story in the world, but, but the it, way that it yeah. was told and done makes it feel like it's one of a kind, one of like at the top of the pillar, one of the just the most badass, crazy. I mean, I, I call it a masterpiece. There aren't a lot of things that I feel like I've watched movie-wise that I would consider a masterpiece. I mean, I think the last time I used that word might have been like Whiplash, because that movie was absolutely phenomenal. Yes. But this one just, again, I, I love knowing nothing about the story going into it and having so many different twists and turns and just not knowing where we're going and the fact that he, like when he was falling just through space and then I landed in the die. bookshelves. Yeah. That was absolutely phenomenal. But, I mean, do you have any other words? I just, like, I thought I was going to keep it together. I didn't think I was going <laughs> to cry at all. I didn't realize that I would cry so, yeah. so much. I mean, 
so good. I mean, again, still, still cry even after it was over <laughs> for a damn near three hour movie that held the attention the whole time. It didn't feel it didn't that feel long. that yeah. long. It was it, it, the pacing was incredible. I thought there were some slow moments, but I felt like every moment was important to the story yeah. and what we were watching and how it was playing out. Yep. But um, if you guys didn't know, we do watch these movie reactions live with the community and we love to take some of the questions and comments from the community. So let's see what they got for us. Sarah Allen, thank you so much. What's your favorite scene? My favorite scene was honestly her in the hospital bed at the mo at the end, surrounded by her family. Yeah, that got you really good. Yeah, it did. Oh, that was a strong man. It, but it was like it's so much more than just because honestly, again, like I've said this already, I thought she was going to be alone. Yeah, she was so angry and like she was you know caught up in her research and the fact that she was still able to have a family of multiple generations like that was good incredible that was really good i if i had to pick a scene i i thought the scene where they had to dock at the end oh was yeah. absolutely incredible that was so like so timing good. up the spinning the music that was playing during that moment and just the dialogue in that scene was just so good. And it's just one of those moments where it's like, all right, we're going to see how good of a pilot you are. Yeah. You've said you're the best. You've told us that you're the best. We've been told that you're the best. And the fact that you timing the spin and then like lining up like that scene was just that was everything. The visuals, the anxiety you're feeling during that moment, the music that was playing, everything about that scene I thought was absolutely spectacular. Yeah. Probably one of my favorites in the movie. That just because good. the action level was just peak. And I mean, this movie did such an amazing job with the anxiety and just yeah, feeling I would, like... Yeah, I would like to also go and, and talk about the Morse code with the oh, second hand on the watch. So and good. like his sense of urgency, like she's going to get it, she's going to get it, she's going to get it, she's going to get it. I love that. I mean, just the idea of when we found out where he landed mm -hmm. and that he was behind the bookshelves the whole time. That was just absolutely amazing. It was just, there are so many moments and scenes in this movie that stand out. And I mean, overall, it was just flawless. It felt like. Julie Merck's you. <laughs> Some of the soundtracks in Interstellar have the tempo of 60 beats per minute to represent a clock ticking. Oh, oh that's why we had a lot of sense of urgency. Thank you, Julie. Yeah, July. I mean, I'm sorry, not Julie. July marks you. Sorry. Thank you so much. I mean, the music, once you realized, like, I think it took me a minute to like catch on to the music that was being played. Yes. But once you like start listening to the soundtrack and hearing this music play. Isn't that so interesting just, that music can do that? Oh, Music That's so interesting. Like music in some of the greatest movies of all time are just they drive certain aspects of the story and the action. And I mean, just think about some of the greatest composers in movies. Like yeah. think about Jaws. Yes. Like you hear that sound, that song, that immediately gives you just anxiety about like, holy shit, I don't want to well, go yeah, to the ocean. But like, just like that, yeah, the tempo can like it's going it's that's in, your beats yeah, per minute. That's amazing. Code 76 with the five. I love the subtle humor thrown in. She's in a bit of a baseball phase. I think I'll take her to that. You told what you told them. I like from. Yes. Tars. Yes. Absolutely. I thought the I, I think part of what I loved about the dialogue was the level of humor that they were able to get into this really serious. Yeah, movie. I didn't understand it at first, but it totally made sense and it absolutely worked. I mean, most of the comedy came from the robots, Yeah, which I thought, I love that. again, when we were introduced to that thing, we were like, wait, what the hell? Like, what's going on here? But as it played out and you realized, and I mean, some of the characters obviously had some good humor in there. And I feel like in a situation, in a mission like this, you need some of that. Yeah. Otherwise, you will literally go nuts. And I feel like the way it was implemented and written into the story, I thought the humor was actually really well done. It didn't, none of it felt like it was really sticking out in yeah. a bad kind of way. Yeah. I thought it did a really good job of like easing the tension because this movie was very tense. This movie reminded me of so many movies of like Lost in Space, Passengers, The Expanse. Yeah. I mean, the idea of colon colonizing into another place because you couldn't live where you currently lived. Yeah. That's like the Expanse vibe it gave me. So. Yeah, I got a lot of alien vibes yeah. on that one. So as always, thank you everyone for dropping in those questions. We love hearing from the community. They always have great insight when we're watching things. So. Yes. 
What a movie. That was a lot. I mean, that movie was a lot. And it was emotional and intense and just... I feel like it hit every spe- edge of the spectrum of just what was going on. So, yes. Um, do you have any other thoughts? I don't. I just really appreciate you guys. Like, I mean, we were so sick for so long. I know. And you guys waited for us, and I appreciate that We were supposed so, to watch so this movie much. two weeks ago. Yeah, and I, oh man, I was so, I wanted to watch it like sick or not, yeah. and, but I'm so glad that I waited till we were not sick, because I would have been coughing through this whole thing. 100%. So I appreciate you guys worth so, the so wait. much. Well yeah. worth the wait. Absolutely. So, as always, you guys share all your thoughts, share your comments. We'll see you guys later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>